Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow night's first main event is scheduled for 12 rounds for the opportunity to compete for the Muhammad Ali Trophy in the World Boxing Super Series Cruiserweight Final. And it is also the final IBF Eliminator. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to invite our fighters to the scales. Joining us first, holding a perfect professional record of 16 wins, no losses, including 13 KO victories. Helm from Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome the IBF number three contender, Andrew the Beast Tabidi. I got to mute it. I don't want to get copyright for the music. Um, the fight is taking place tomorrow. The card is starting at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on The Zone. Andrew Tabidi, I'm, I'm rooting for him. 16-0 uh, and 0 with uh, 13 KOs. He's taking the part in the World Boxing Super Series Season 2 Cruiserweight Tournament. Now, it's not getting as much buzz, the Cruiserweight Tournament, because they had it for the first season. And we know that uh, Alexander Usyk won, and he holds all the belts. This fight right here against uh, Ruslan uh, Pfeiffer, if that's how you pronounce his name, is going to be um, for the IBF eliminator. Basically, my understanding is the winner is going to go on to be the mandatory or fight somebody else to be the mandatory, likely to be the mandatory. I'm Tea Street Controversy. This is Tea Street Controversy Live with FightView360.com. I cover every single major fight live. Um, the main event, well, technically, it's not really the main event because they're, you know, but you could say the main event is going to be. Hold on. Did he make weight? Uh. 90.45 kilograms for the beast. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome his opponent, his prof 199.4. I like how they have um, um, this right here instead of putting up a towel. I think that they, they should do this more. You know, get like a little something right there. I like that. An excellent one. 23 wins, no losses, including 16 wins coming by way of knockout. Hailing from Zukba, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the World Boxing Super Series number four seed and the former IBF international champion and the current IBF number two contender. Please welcome Ruslan Pfeiffer. I got a chance to watch just a little bit of this guy. I forgot this way in was so early. I was supposed to watch more footage of him um, last night, but didn't really get a rent, but didn't really get around to it. Obviously, this is him uh, right here. 23 and 0 with uh, 16 KOs. Hasn't really fought. Yeah, he fought out of Russia quite a bit in that general area. Um, Tabidi has the better resume. Tabidi 29, him 27. Tabidi with, um, uh, made with the promotions. He's in this tournament, um, with the help of, uh, what was he doing back there? Eighty nine point fifty five kilograms. Eighty nine point fifty five. One ninety seven. Under. Let me see. What is he? 
This is the lightest he's. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a fight in the first installment of the World Boxing Super Series Cruiserweight quarterfinals. See Dude, mean business. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to phase off the fighters for photo opportunities, and then we will conduct the interviews. Do mean business. We can't live. We can't watch the interviews, though. I'm gonna have to put the little copyright bar up there. We should be cool, though. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna push it. What's this Solomon name? I forgot that Solomon's name. Right on the tip of my tongue. Money, 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 money team. Money, 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 money team. Money, 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 money team. Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow night's first main event. 12 rounds of boxing schedule for the IBF final cruiserweight eliminator. Andrew Tabidi versus Ruslan Faithar. So, um, I've already said he's made with the promotions. Uh, it's going to be a busy day for boxing tomorrow for me with um, boxing. This is going to be on The Zone. Then I got Bet Bellator. I'm covering MMA now. And got uh, the Crawford versus Benavidez card. But this tournament right here has the best of the best in the 100 um, uh, uh, in the cruiserweight division. Despite Usyk being the winner and guys like uh, Miris Breed is being in the first one in, in Unier Dorticos. So the, we're going to talk. Let's listen to the post-fight interview first. I meant the post-weigh-in interview. So the winner of Tabidi versus uh, Ruslan uh, Faefer is going to go on and take on the winner of Unier Dorticos versus uh, Mastu's Masternak. I've covered all these fighters before except obviously uh, Ruslan uh, Faefer, who I said I'm trying to catch up on. I uh, feel pretty good. Um, you know, real confident coming in. Um, I kind Floyd of feel like Senior. Estimated because um, I'm 16 and 0. He has 23. Uh, he has 23 fights, and um, you know I'm gonna I'm show him that this baby ain't no baby. <laughs> you train at the Mayweather camp. How has Senior said you will beat Faber? Um, you know we just gonna go. We we we're not, we're not gonna um, tell him the game plan right now. We just gonna you know do the work when we get there. How do you feel fighting outside the states? But real confident, you know. Um, I feel confident I'm fighting in Russia. Um, you know, it's, it's a lovely place. I, I like being here. It's pretty cool. And you know, I just come here to um, do work. How do you feel being part of the World Boxing Super Series? It is a great opportunity. Yeah, it's a great opportunity. I'm very, I feel very appreciative. I'm very thankful that they selected me to be in this tournament, and um, I'm just gonna get my best. Thank you, Andrew, Andrew, and best luck for tomorrow night. Stiff ass commentator that could tell he probably never watched boxing in his life. No disrespect though. TMT! TBE! 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 We're not stopping. No, no, no. Ruslan, how you feel? Easy work! At least now. I'm okay. Absolutely okay. How does it feel to be part of the World Boxing Super Series? You probably gonna fuck to beat you up. It's okay. It's a great opportunity for me to fight in that super series. Do you feel pressure being the home fighter? No, it's just next step for uh, receiving the title. How will you be Tabidi? Tomorrow we will see. It will be accurate and very strong. Thank you, Ruslan Faefer. They're about to get to the uh, um, um, the main event, but. I am going to um, watch some more of this guy, probably while I'm cooking or something, and uh, talk about obviously tomorrow after the fight. I can't, I can't sign into the zone. Let me see if I can do it from the tab where I watch the porn and stuff. Let me see. 
I don't think I can sign in because I'm signed in into Russia. Nope. My computer signed into Russia. They put these weigh-ins on GeoBlock. So if you go to the World Boxing Super Series website, you can't watch the weigh-in because it's like GeoBlocked. But let's go look at the tournament real quick. Um, so we've talked about the Bantam weight, which the main event of this card is going to be Zelani Tite versus uh, Mikhail Alanyan. This tournament is going to feature uh, Miras Bredis versus uh, Newell uh, Giver, uh, Christoph Klowoski versus uh, Maxim Voskov. I got to do research on Giver and Voslov. So you would expect that in this bracket, you would want to see uh, Miras Bredis versus former WBO Cruiserweight champion uh, Christoph uh, Glowoski. And then Bredis will likely go on to the finals. But here's where things get interesting. Yunir Dortikos versus Master Mast um, um, Mast Matus uh, Masternak. Him, I have him advancing. But tomorrow right here, if Tabidi gets past, you know, because Fafer, from what I've seen and what I'm gathering, I got to go look at his uh, amateur background to see, you know, if he's any type of Olymp Olympian or anything like that. I'm really like, I really don't have no information. Not enough. But depending on who wins this, then that matchup with your, your uh, Unier Dortikos is going to be interesting. And then obviously, you know, I, 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 I admit I would like to see Tabidi versus uh, Breedis in in the finals because that would mean Andrew Tabidi would be able to take care of a lot of work and fill a lot of ground with all basically the best uh, um, cruiserweights outside of Marat Gassiev who is injured who's not in the tournament and of course Usyk and Bellew who is also not in the tournament so if Tabidi was to even get to the finals and or win this tournament then you know he would have covered a lot of ground you see what I'm saying in a short period of time and it'll be a big feather in the cap of uh, Mayweather promotion. So I'm glad that they let him get into this tournament. It makes it makes so many it makes so much sense on uh, so many levels. But I got to get to the next weigh in and probably go get some uh, breakfast. It's 9:32 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday, October the 12th, 2018, outside of Windy, Philadelphia. Tomorrow, I'm going to be covering this card. Is going to be it's going, the card is going to start 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'm guessing the Tabidi fight, uh, Tabidi uh, uh, Fa uh, uh, Fafer fight, is probably going to be around 4 p.m. I, I I say you should be ready to watch around 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you're over in L.A., obviously you're know, around or Vegas around um, 1 p.m. or so, your time. It's going to be on the zone here in the states. That's the 999 stream, 999 um, streaming app. It's called. It's spelled D A Z N. It's crazy. The name still pisses me off. But nonetheless, a lot of people have been saying like, "Man, Eddie Hearn, it must really be paying you, you know, because you be really pushing this shit." I'm pushing it because they're paying me through you watching my videos, me covering these fights. It's so easy to cover the fights now. It's easy as shit. I love it. I'm Teacher Controversy. This is Teacher Controversy Live. Please subscribe.